I got my hat. <laughs> I got my green shirt. I got my camel leggings. <laughs> Okay, I also have my combat boots, and um, there's some, there, oh, there, I'll be right back. <laughs> I got my combat boots. <laughs> These are from Pretty Little Thing, by the way. Even though you guys are not going to see, like, the whole outfit in this video, I still need to set the scene, you know? Yeah. This is a terrible bun. Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Sahara Coleman. So today's video is going to be a what's in my military style bag. And I say military style bag because that is the type of bag it is. No, I'm not in the military, I'm not in the army, I'm not in any of those things. I don't want anybody to come on here and mistake that. I don't have my hat on right now because it's so hot. I'm going to be showing you guys what's in it because this is my survival kit bag. I decided to pick this bag because it is a excellent quality and I walked with it on my shoulders for like 20 minutes one day and it fits a lot in there and this stuff can get really heavy because it is a pretty big size bag. Go ahead and put my hat back on. Remember I'm trying to set my scene. <laughs> okay. Hmm, that is so cute. I like this hat too. It's from um it's from this store in New York. I think they closed it down. I think it was called like Kitson. Here's some celebrities at the Kits in Los Angeles store like Kristen Cavallari, Jennifer Love Hewitt, Emma Watson, Ava Levine, The Jenner Girls, Miranda Cosgrove, Jessica Alba, and Brooke Hogan. It's like, where has Brooke been though? <laughs> so this is the bag right here. I still have the tag on it. It is called Rebo Tactical. So this is the brand right here. You can follow them on Facebook. It's RebogeGear.com. So that's the name of this bag. It did come with an American flag on it. Velcro, you can just purchase these if you want to. So here is the bag. It comes with the straps and they do buckle around you, which is really good. So you don't have to worry about it sliding off. So that's one thing that I loved about it. And it does have like a lot of different like buckles on it. Just like this and you can buckle right here. Too many. Nah. Inevitably, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I'm gonna start in the front because this does have a lot of pockets to it. So starting in this front part right here, this is just a zipper to open it. In the front, I keep in here. I'm just like I'm currently buying more and more products for survival kit for um this survival kit just to have in there because you know you never know when something may happen or you know you never know so it's always good to have a survival kit around and this is just some of the stuff that i've added to it so far i'm not done yet but of course so the first thing i have right here i do have spectrum um what well which was formerly known as time warner cable as they always like to say every time you call on one side you have the screwdriver and when you flip to the other side and you stick it back in, it has the Phillips head. So I just thought that was pretty cool to have. And it's, you know, just easy to go back and forth with. So this is like, would be like your travel size tool. I also have this light right here that I got from the Dollar Tree, I think. And you just push it. I don't think it has any battery. Oh, yeah. no. That was my light just shining on it, making me think. But um, it does get really bright. It has three bulbs right here. And I think it just takes like regular batteries which i do have a lot of batteries i'll be showing you guys so yeah it takes four no three triple a batteries this is a like a two-in-one type of whistle so on here you have your compass which i don't understand how anyone could really like understand to read a compli a compass like going in a direction i'd be like east I thought you said west. <laughs> Ten thousand paces east. Oh, east? I thought you said west. West? What kind of compass are you reading, lad? This one, sir. That's west, Patrick. <laughs> I wouldn't even know like what direction to go in, so I wouldn't use the compass. But when you twist open the cap. You can stick stuff in there, so I would definitely recommend sticking some matches in there because on the side of this whistle, there is this um, this part right here where you just, you know, 
drag a match across and it can light it so it'd be cool to put matches in here and you can wear this as like a keychain this part he this part right here is just the whistle i'll whistle it for you guys as long as there's nothing okay the next thing i have in here is some extra tools i keep these in a bag so they don't um poke through the backpack i don't want to rip this backpack so in here i just have a lighter um this pocket knife you know you know you always need to have a pocket knife in your survival kit <laughs> and then i also have some scissors that's the stuff that i just keep up here for now because it's in a pocket that i could just reach to this next part right here that has some buckles on it do I have to take any of these? No, I'm not going to open the buckles. But this part right here, you just unzip in and it has this pocket. In this pocket, you can fit something else in here. And then right here, it does have um, a couple more pockets on here. So you could just fit stuff in there. Trust me, this bag comes with a lot of pockets. That's why I was so excited to get this one in here. The only thing I have is this mirror right here. This is just like a travel size magnetic, a travel size magnet, wait, <laughs> magnet, hold on, my magnifying mirror. Yeah, it's like a zoom in mirror where you can see up close to close. In the next part of this backpack, which is right here in the middle, I'm pretty sure it's probably hard to see on camera like the different sections in the bag because the whole bag is just black so i'm gonna open up this part i'm gonna unbuckle it on the sides because it is buckled when i walked with this bag for those 20 minutes i did have to buckle it <laughs> so in this part it's kind of like the same thing as this front part right here it does have another section that you could put stuff in here and on the front of that it has these two nets where you could fit stuff in there so in here the only thing I have in this huge part is a bag of oh my gosh why do I always get to stuff and don't even know what I'm talking about anymore a bag of packet toothpaste there we go something like that it's like I'm not used to say packet toothpaste, so that's why I'm like, is it a pack? It's packet toothpaste packet. <laughs> you just rip these open and you just can squeeze out the toothpaste. I just have like a pack of them. They were selling them for like six for 25 cents at the um, discount store, so just have them in here. Um, another thing I have in here are these ear pods, ear pads, whatever you call them, ear ear plugs. Well, no, I don't because <laughs> the thing is empty, so no, I don't have any any ear pods in here i'm gonna have to throw that away <laughs> another type of toothpaste this one is just colgate and this one is biotene okay so moving on to the third part of this backpack this is the biggest part of the backpack so it zips all the way down on both sides and it opens up like this so it's huge so on this side of the um, backpack the front part of the inside of this side it does have a net that's open on this side so in this part the only thing I have in here are boxes of matches there these mattresses there these mattresses right, right here the diamond ones that have 32 in there so could be putting that in that little whistle that I had in there the one that's like east I thought you said west <laughs> this ooh, almost fell out Everything's just like open right here, so that's why it's like hard for me to keep it in here. So on this side, let me move this out the way. There is a part right here where you can unzip. I have got to make sure I pay attention to this camera and this monitor because this camera keeps shutting off on me. And it's like I'm getting through like a whole section of my backpack and I have to start all over because the camera shuts off. But anyway, I'm wasting too much time. But <laughs> So like I was saying, this part right here is a zipper so you could just open this up and put more stuff in here. It does go down pretty far but not all the way down on this side. It's an elastic band right here so if you put something thick in this section it could just hold it in. First thing I have right here are face masks. These are just the ones that you see doctors with. There are 10 that come in this pack. It's a hot or cold pain relief pack. You can put this in the freezer, make it cold, or you can put this in the microwave and heat it up like it's food. There's only one that comes in there, but it's a very thick pack and it's 
heavy. Seriously, it's hot. It's actually really heavy. This next one right here is an ice pack, so you just put ice in here. I've actually never used an ice pack. I don't think like this. I've used like um, ones that you would put in a freezer, but I've never used like one that you actually fill up with ice, so that's interesting. Maybe one time when I have a headache, I'll <laughs> use a three-in-one cotton set. So in here, this comes with cotton swabs, cotton pads, cotton balls. <laughs> it's a whole lot of cotton. Um alcohol pads in neosporin so um that's the set that i keep in here and just keep in mind that this is like the blue set so i just want you guys to um remember that why the blue is so significant in my survival kit bag <laughs> so the next thing i have is a flashlight and it's blue but i'm pretty sure it does take those yeah those like thick double d batteries i mean double d I'm trying to hurry up and get through this because I know it's going to take me forever because I have a lot more stuff besides this just backpack right here. So the next thing I have is this cooling towel. What you do with this is if you're, um, if you're working out or you're doing something where you just get too hot, you just run this underwater and you just put it around you and it's supposed to cool you off. I've never used this before. I don't even know what it looks like. But again, like I said, it is blue. Fan, so I need to figure out if one of these is working right oh. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. Right now I don't have my air on because I'm, I want you guys to be able to hear me. Because I keep the air like right next to me because it just gets so hot, especially with the outfit I have on. But I have this fan right here and I also have this fan right here. This one is actually not working. The batteries that are in here are the ones that came with it. I probably should take the batteries out of this because as you guys know, some of you may know, some of you may not know. If you leave batteries in something for too long, they can explode and that's when they get nasty and they don't work and we don't need that messing up because you know if something happens and I need some air and I can't get it because the battery exploded I'm being this ace band-aid well this is not an ace band-aid this is a um what would you call this would you call this ace ace band-aid I know the ace band-aids are the ones that you wrap yeah like right here I have the ace band-aid that you bandage band-aid bandage whatever that you wrap around you but this one is the um it's like the same thing whatever I don't feel like thinking through it's like it's too much to think this through <laughs> so the next thing is this one from the Dollar Tree this is an emergency charger over one hour of emergency talk time on most mobile phones you put the batteries in here and that's good I actually didn't know that it comes with batteries I was wondering this whole time until I just took this off but you just put the batteries in here and it could charge it I thought that this was one of those where you know you know you have to like charge this and then it charges your phone like it's like what's the point of doing that it's like i could just charge my phone where i'm charging this at these gloves they're just regular cute gloves in this i have um i put a pack of band-aids in here neosporin this is the type of neosporin that you squeeze out and then um alcohol pads let me just show you guys how the neosporin looks so it looks just like the toothpaste it comes in packs and you just squeeze them out very 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 travel size friendly because it's thin and it's not going to take up so much room like a regular tube of you know toothpaste or a regular tube of neosporin okay so in the last section of this bag, like I said, this bag is huge and it does have a lot of different pockets where you can fit a lot of different stuff. So in this, it's, it's on the back of the bag. So it's this part right here. You just, it actually only unzippens like starting from the top of the bag and then it goes all the way down right here. So it doesn't have much room, but you can still fit some stuff in here. So that's this. It's just the pocket. I don't have anything in here. I'm going to show you guys, see if there's any more compartments on here, like secret compartments that I don't even know. Okay, wait a minute. Um, it looks like on the side of the bag right here, maybe you could fit put something right there if it'll stay. It's like that on both sides. Yeah like this on both sides so yeah this bag i really love this bag i give it a thumbs up i would say try it like i said it's on rebogear.com and you can find them on facebook so i love this bag excellent quality has a lot of room and oh right here that's what i forgot so this one right here this is just a um like a keychain whistle i just have it on here 
like this it's just like a whistle and a light too I forgot it is a light you have to put batteries in here yeah I think it's just like one little small battery goes in there and then you turn it a certain way and then the light comes on and then here's a whistle oh that's louder than the other one <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys more survival kit stuff that I would definitely recommend you having in your bag or your collection so if you wanna see that then keep on watching this long video <laughs> the batteries that I was talking to you guys about I do have all of the batteries in here I have the D batteries the triple A double A have all the batteries that I would need for like the flashlights or the charger or anything like that so I just have them in here I was gonna put them in a backpack but these are pretty heavy and one thing even though a bat a backpack can be excellent quality like that if you do start overfilling it or putting too much heavy stuff in there you can easily start ripping the strap so that's why I just had this on the side I was looking for like more bags that I could put stuff like that in heavier things so I won't have to break those straps but I do just have this on a sideline waiting the next thing I do have on the sideline waiting as well next to the batteries is this bag of stuff right here I just go through and sh tell you guys what everything is so this is a hydrogen peroxide spray I think we all know what peroxide is it's the watered down version of alcohol <laughs> and it's in a spray bottle so it's just easier to put out instead of um, pouring it onto a cotton pad it's just easy to spray here is another one this is actually alcohol spray um, another peroxide spray this is Calamine Lotion, so I did read at the store that this is a skin protectant, never used it before. It says that it dries the oozing and weeping of poison. The heck was that? Oh my gosh, what was that noise? <laughs> it says that it dries the oozing and weeping of poison ivy, poison oak, and poison stomach. I don't know what that is. Another thing that I have are two biotin dry mouth oral rinse. This is like the biotin, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, toothbrush, I mean toothpaste, fresh scent hand and body lotion. Is this Derma Vera skin and hair cleanser enriched with shea butter this is by dermarite this is the stuff that you'll see like doctors use so i have a couple more bottles of these but these are peri fresh these are also by dermarite the same brand as this cleanser too bad i don't have more of these cleansers because it actually smells so good i haven't used it so i don't know if it's you know it's good on the skin if it's itchy or not but doctors use it so i seen it at the store and i was like rack up on those <laughs> so this is also by dermarate this is the peri fresh rinse free perineal cleanser perineal perineal with aloe vera ph balance fresh scent so this is like one of those sprays if you're not near a shower or you know you have an accident or something you just spray it on your body wipe it up and you're good to go so it's always good to have these like i said this is a survival kit so if anything was to happen where you you're not in your normal habitat you need stuff like this so you know i have it in here like i said it's on a sideline next to the batteries waiting for home <laughs> okay so i'm gonna just show you guys right quick here is a second survival kit pretty much have everything the same like the first one but like i said the significance of having the blue was to show you guys that in this survival kit Everything that's blue in there is pretty much green in here. It's like I have it color coordinated. I don't know if I'm the only one that likes to do stuff like that, color coordinate everything. This fan is not working. But in here, the things that are different is this has the um, sewing kit, like a little mini sewing kit. And this one that, that's not in that one, I also have this cold and hot patch there was five small patches in here but i think one or two or three four maybe <laughs> were used but this right here is hot hands super hot hands hand and body warmer i don't even know if this works anymore oh you're supposed to shake the pouch to mix and activate contents but this is just a hand warmer body warmer just put it on close your hands together and it's supposed to warm up your body never used it before maybe it works maybe it doesn't <laughs> but that's what it's supposed to do a big box of matches remember i showed you guys the small boxes of matches this one is a big one 300 extra extra thick for a longer burning time matches 39 cent too for 300 not bad at all 
on the go pack of Clorox disinfecting wipes nine wet wipes a little small secret deodorant this could be used now <laughs> like no 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 i'm gonna use it now um i think i see a pack of this okay yes 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 the other one that i need to throw away that was empty this is yes okay the pod plug so you just plug it into your ear when you don't want to hear anyone and this could come in handy and no, i'm just kidding when you need to sleep at night you know those things help you sleep and then another thing that's in here that's not in this one, that one is a huge pack of jumbo cotton balls. This one contains 200. And the other one, I, oh, it's open. And the other one, I just had them in, in here, but this is um, the same one as the other one. So we have two bags of survival kit stuff. I'm going to need to get another one of those backpacks, but I just have it in this one for now. This is just a juicy couture messenger bag oh, it's big enough to fit everything but it's not what i want to have it in the last things actually they're in these hospital bags i just went to the hospital but not for me and you know i picked up a few things <laughs> i probably shouldn't be saying this but my gosh you guys need to see this so i have this box of gloves these are excellent quality gloves and i've seen them at the discount store too not exactly the same pair but these are excellent and here you get 250 gloves that's the box unopened and then i also you guys gotta wait to see this <laughs> i also oh my gosh this is gonna fall and hit hard have a bunch of gloves right here too so you know you can never have too many gloves I use them all the time and then in this bag more gloves <laughs> yeah there's a lot of gloves you wouldn't even it was I should do like a video no I'm not even gonna say it I'm good <laughs> but um this right here these are gauge gauze gauge I forgot how to pronounce that sponges they're just like um the regular flat sponges where if you're bleeding or you get hurt or whatever you could put it on there and I think wrap it up with the band-aid um, this right here these are really thick excellent quality napkins also from the hospital and um, uh, gosh every time I go to graph or something I forget what it is but this is a mask face mask more of these thick quality napkins from the hospital <laughs> um I got me a care package okay <laughs> and these tissue Kleenex tissue box a pair of socks these socks okay let me just explain to you guys very quick about these socks so these socks are very very good they're like the thick socks um if you have like diabetes or any other type of disease, you want to make sure that you don't have really tight socks on. So if you find socks like these that are thick material, they actually started selling them at the Dollar Tree too. I think they're called compression socks. You don't want something that's too thick that's going to cut off the circulation. So definitely if you could find those pair of socks like that please do and that goes for anyone anyone who doesn't have a disease and have to worry about that or you know anyone who you know doesn't want tight socks on their feet those are really good because I know my socks a lot of my socks especially the ones I wear because I wear the Under Armour socks they really do cut off my circulation a lot because they're like very tight they're more for like athletic wear but I still love wearing them and they're so cute I have them like in every different color I got them from like Marshalls a long time ago but anyway I don't want to hold you guys guys up any longer than I already have so uh, that is the end of this video titled what's in my military oh excuse me <laughs> let's try this again what's in my military style survival kit backpack slash sideline stuff that needs to get in another backpack so i hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye